one thing you notice when you're walking along in the streets of Kathmandu, everyone driving around on the scooters and bikes and that, they just basically bamp once, but they keep driving. Like they, it seems like you bamp means you're right away. So when you see them going, you hear bamp and they just keep going. So if you're driving a car or walking at, you always have to be aware of your surroundings because you, you will get hit if you're not paying attention. Here's a shop not far from where I'm staying. There's all different spices and nuts, all pre-packaged. Workshop to the right. Store for kitchen supplies and cooking. Like I said, never stream of bikes coming around. Don't forget, we're gonna walk onto that stretch just up the road there, where it gets really chaotic. Oh. They're taking a break from the buildings, I think. They're working at this place. Hard work. It's hard gaff. Doing all that. Like I said, there's not too much health and safety involved. I love the wires. I said this before, but just in case it depends on how I edit it. Reminds me of Thomas Kelly's place, Billy Kelly's in the void. Right behind his uh, TV. His wire is similar to that. I don't know how you would find one that's working and not working. I hate to be an electrician here. Now it's starting to get busier as we get closer to the, uh, the intersection here. Turn it off till we get there. Yeah, traffic. The car is trying to get by. Look at it. Your man with the balloons. And, uh, Get by with the balloons. Like I said it's a very busy intersection here. Little doggo. Oh. Very busy. Restaurants, he said, you have to always watch when you're walking. It's not only the ground uneven, but you have to contest the bikes and the cars. for the IUC. Now, I'm able to show you the sight, the sounds, and just not the smell. Like, you're walking by, and it's not bad. You see a lot of, smell a lot of spices so far. A lot of incense burning, too. So it's a combination. And you look down here. Let's walk down here and see what this is like. Like I said, there's all these little alleyways that you can just move off the path, and then you, you see these little shops. And, All right. 
righty. This looks like a new fire hose. A little bit of, like I said, there's millions of bikes. Another little shop for food. They have pan roti, momos. Here's a little shrine. Pigeons feeding on the uh, the offerings. Oh, yeah. Pigeons are sacred in Hindu uh, religion. There, they're, they're always feeding them. And there's a chicken right there, walking down the street, and the birds. And very accustomed to having people around. Ganesh on the top. So obviously it's a Hindu shrine uh, temple. And then uh, hidden away, there's always these little shops and like Buff Momo, Chow Mein, like a lot of sensory overload. Like, there's so much that catches your eyes when you're walking around and looking, and you miss something. You like I've walked by two or three times now, and I'm still seeing stuff new every time. There's Penny Puri. Oh, yeah. Here's a bunch of the dogs. Look at the dogs, they're all over the place. I wonder if I should get some uh, should get some uh, dog food maybe. I have a few little dog biscuits. Keep them in my pocket in case I see some. I'm going to head back on to the main thoroughfare and head up towards Tamo. Reception and in uh, Europe, we do all the 
us here. They want to be seen, they want to be recognized. Namaste! Hey, look at how crazy it is. I think we're just going to have to go up here and just make a run for it when it slows down a bit. Peace. Like I said, they, you have to watch yours. They don't really slow down much. It's nice little shop with a little bit of everything in there. Looks like the helmets aren't mandatory. And now we're in the, the Tamil area. Here's Tamil.com restaurant, cuisine, bar, lounge. We walked by this before with the Jandera going. Going back. Vegetarian kitchen, veg and vegan Indian food. And then they have right beside it the non veg kitchen. So we're going to walk around. We're going to try to find a place, a small little hole in the wall, to get a beer. I want to get maybe a bracelet or two, too, just to go around. And hiking gear we'll get later, but there's some uh, bracelets there, but we'll walk around into the other part. Kathmandu Grand Hotel. Here's a little off-license place. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. There's some t-shirts, funky little t-shirts designs. Thanks. No, thanks. Just walking right now. Don't think we'll need that suit. Although we have to get a, a like a, a warm jacket because in the mountains, we're going up to, uh, he said, we're going to be up to 4,200 meters. So it does get cold, especially at night. So we have to watch out for that. There's another hotel there. Like they're all over the place. So if you walk by here, like that's why it's fun to have a stroll around on your own, you know, providing you know how to get back to where you're going. I think I've been there twice now, so I should be able to find my way back. As long as I don't do any too big detours around. And every once in a while you see all these money exchangers and that rates. So one USD will give you 130.85. Um, now, I got it through his friend there, uh, Agenda, and he got it for me for 131. There's a nice shop there. Bags. I'm gonna have to get Kira a bag. She wants some sort of bag. Probably won't get it today, but just to look for the, some nice uh, beads here and bracelets. Namaste. Got all sorts of stuff here. What kind of bag would she like? Hmm. There's some more in the back there too. We'll go take a look. Now she likes a Percy type thing. Like something like this is nice. Ooh. Cut to you. Let's go. Sase patas. Sase patas. Seven fifty. Yeah. It's not a bad one. No, I just she likes something like this. So that might be an option. Is there any more like that? Similar? 
like this one same we are different yeah this one did I And it has the zipper in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And how much is that one? This one, same price. Same price? Yeah. Is that a, this one, is that a local price or is that a, a local price? No, or is it a tourist price? price? No, local price. Yeah? No yeah. fixed price? Yeah. Oh, and they have some neat little purses here, too. $7.50. This one's in? Yeah, this one's neat looking, too. Okay. This one is cotton, this one. Cotton. Yeah. Different company. Okay. It's cotton on this one. Oh, that's nice. And how much is this? This one, fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yeah. Ooh, double the price. This one, different quality. Yeah. This one, guarantee color. I know, but this one, wood. I wouldn't be able to use a guarantee because yeah. I'm gonna be gone. So. I know. Yeah. This color. Change. No, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. So 1500 these are 750 Yeah. Okay. okay I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'm here for a month. Yeah. I'm going to be here for 30 days, so I'm going to get her something, so... Oh, these are neat, too. Wallets. Little wallets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we'll, how much are the wallets? This one, 250 250 And the bracelets? Different price. This one. How much are they like roughly? Like this one two fifty. This one tiger eye three three fifty. This one six fifty. This one seven fifty. Ooh, okay. Different. This one one hundred. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. One piece, no. Hey? This one, one piece. Not right now. Not right now. I'm gonna. I just got here today. So I'm back. I will be back. I'm just staying down there, not far. Thank you. Not too bad. It's very nice, but I think the uh, prices were uh, tourist price. I know. No, I don't. I don't need that. Not today. I only got here today. No, it's my, my first day here. I'm just walking first. I want to walk around and out. Not today, not today. But I'm here for, I'm going to be here for uh, for one month. Monkey Temple. Monkey Temple, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll be around, don't worry. Not today though, not today. Here's magnets. So Mari likes their little magnets. All those little hats and that. And then some more beads. Little Buddhas. Little, little bowls. Don't think they're real though. Namaste. I want to buy something. I give you this where? Those are the ears? How much are they, uh, the prayer bowls? This is like 2000 2500 Good price. Choose. I don't know. And what about the bracelets? I'll give you good price. Don't worry about the price. You have to choose. How much are they, like, just roughly, around? Roughly 1,000, 1,500, they're stones, okay? Yeah. Okay. How about these, you know? Yeah. Okay, not today, though, I just, I only Don't got here today. Back. You no. remember me? I remember you. 
Something, I, something, you buy anything. I just got here today. I'm okay. going to be here for a month. Okay, you come here. I will okay, promise me, okay? You come here, buy something, and you remember me, okay? I'll see, yeah. This and this, okay, buy some, okay? Okay, thank you. What's your name? My name is Sabine. Sabine? Sabine. Sabine. Nick. See how they try to really hustle and get you and get it. Like he was the same beads that was in the other store that she was selling like 100 to three, four, five hundred. He was starting at a thousand to two thousand. And those bowls are reproduction Chinese ones. I seen the ones that they that your man Dave David uh, the, was in uh, Durber Square and they were quoting like really nice ones for like 900 uh, rupees. So. What I say? Just watching today. Just watching. One second. Maybe I'll ask him for the price of the bulls. Just to get an idea. I'm not buying today. I just got here today. But I'm going to be here for uh, one month. Yeah. So I just want to know. How much? What's your prices on your prayer bowls? Katio, uh... Katio. How much? How much? Money. Money. Paisa. Paisa. 5,500 rupees. 5,500 rupees. 5,500 rupees. Yeah. I let him go on. He's got a whole bunch of them here. Five thousand is nice, huh? a bit much, though. Your cap is very nice. <laughs> Your cap's nice. Yeah. All country. Yeah, pins. Da. Yeah, pins. Nepal? Not yet. No, Nepal. I'm trying to find one. Nepal. I only got here yeah. today. Yeah. How much is this one? Cut to you. This? Yeah. Pay price. Price. This six thousand rupees. Six thousand. Yeah. That's five thousand five hundred. This, this is five thousand five hundred rupees. And that's six thousand. This is six thousand rupees. This material is. Yeah. Um, many prime um, very hard. Well, is, it's not Nepalese. Yeah. It's Tibetan. Yeah. Tibetan. This material. Tibetan. That's Tibetan. Ne Tibetan, right? Yeah. Um. Um. Um, many prime um. Yeah. Just take that. Okay, I'm just looking for now. Daniyavad. I'll be back. Okay, which way was I walking I'm from? Coming, coming back. I'm gonna come back. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's all the tricks. Uh, I'm gonna turn this off for a bit. The camera's getting a little warm. Well, I let my uh, GoPro heat up. It was getting really hot there uh, walking around. Um, when you don't have the camera on, you do get solicited a lot for uh, ash and stuff like that. So it's something you have to be mindful of when you come here and just say no and that. Like walk around and don't accept prices. And that's another guy would, I said no to uh, the ash and then he started trying to sell me uh, a massage and stuff like that. So just, you know, stick fast and just say no and keep walking. Don't take the first price on a lot of stuff too because, you know, I looked at a few things and the prices are really, really high for the first time. I know if I go with uh, my friend here, he said to, if I want some stuff to go with him and that, he'll take me around so that we get the best price. So I'm going to show you those places. But I just was really thirsty, so I stopped into a Ying Yang restaurant. I spoke to the owner and he says when I get back and that one day, uh, you know, invited me to come here and uh, I can I can vlog his restaurant so what's another thing I'm gonna do I'm just enjoying uh, a Gurkha 
beer. It's a nice size of the bottle though, eh? You get a proper size for it and uh, it's just nice and refreshing. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then probably make my way back towards the, um, the homestay. And maybe look at uh, editing the uh, first video and start playing with that. Maybe I can get one up between today and tomorrow and then before we head off to uh, Lang Tang and Cyber Basie. Okay, so that was the Yin and Ra Yang restaurant. I just went in for a beer. It was a large Gurkha, which was quite big beer. Like you end up having about three, three uh, glasses out of it now. Uh, it was a little pricey. Uh, it was 840 rupee. So I'll do the maths on that uh, a little later. It's probably. I'd say it's about seven euros, but it's about, you know, it's a fair price because I think beer in uh, Nepal is a little bit more expensive because being a Buddhist place, they don't drink as much. But I'm going to make my way back and I'm going to do some uh, editing, maybe get a vlog out or either today or tomorrow. So signing off. Hope you're enjoying this uh, first day of the Nepal uh, visit, and there'll be 30 of them. Hi, hi. How are you? There's a gentleman that I was in the plane with. He was sitting right in front of me, actually. So, anyways, I'm gonna turn it off for now. Unless I see something that jumps out at me that I have to show you. Just to give you a context, I was just walking by the back and I've come to Backpackers Lodge yes. and there's a menu here and then the Gurkha beer yes. is four ninety five yes. compared to my eight sixty. Please. How's it going? How are you more things we have not only beer and we have a lot of nice snacks also. Oh, I, oh, I, just I, I already I already ate today. No problem. Tonight, um, tonight, 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 tonight. I had some momos and that so I was just walking around just to get i it's my first day here. Okay. I'm gonna be here for about a month. Okay. I got a friend of mine who's a guide, so we're gonna go do Lang Tang, but I'm gonna be in and around and do places Please. and that. But um, yeah, I might have a beer. Yes. Uh, upstairs? Yes, sir. Yeah. Upstairs. Even you miss the best momo. We have 16 varieties of momo here, but it's okay, you can drink beer, but next time you have to come with him. Well, I'll be here for a while, yeah. so no, I'm not no. leaving. I'm not leaving until the end of October. Oh, then, okay. So. Please enjoy. Yeah. Thank you. So we'll go have one of those because I actually uh, actually like the Gorka beer, um, but we'll see. Like I said, shop around, and this is a guest house, so you can uh, have uh, rooms here to rent as well. I think we just keep walking up. Namaskar. Lots of stairs. <laughs> There's a sign. Rooftop restaurant. Let's see, looking at the window. So we're getting high up there. Oh, wow. Oh, this is really nice. Namaskar. Very good, very good. Thank you. Yeah. Is uh, it to you? What? How much? How much? 500? Yeah. Okay, I'll have one. One? That's great. So for that large beer, like you see, it's a quite large one. And uh, for uh, 500, it's good. Considering the other place was 860. And this is a nice rooftop. Here's a lime lemon tree. It's humid. How's it? Yeah, there. Anything inside is next? No, I'm good. I'm full. I had momos earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. When we had momos. Yeah, I know. He told me downstairs. That's a nice place, though. I did. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. Lots of plants. 
afternoon. So here's the view. You can see the mountains in the background. Buildings and very good. So I'm gonna crack open that beer and enjoy it. I came into the shop, I just walked by and he said I didn't have the uh, the Nepali pin, so he got me to get one and then I saw a shirt that I liked. So here it is. So I got the pin and the shirt for twelve fifty. So I think it was a fair price and it tried it on and fit. So just in the Tamil area. I'll show you what it looks like when I get outside. You come up, you'll see the two Nepali flags. That's your man there, that's right beside the uh, shop there. And also, of course, everywhere in the world there's an Irish pub. I won't be going in that today though. So, I'm gonna be walking back up there and back. Namaste. Some buns. All sorts of pants and shirts and stuff. Oh, camera. I, I will get them, but not today. It's my first day. I'm going to be here for a month. I don't want to carry them around for a month. Where are you from? Ireland. Ireland? Yes. How much are they anyways? The different one. Like, which one? Not the big, big ones, because they'll be like days. How much would they be? 200. 200? Yeah. Okay. And that's by a set of five, pieces. five, five different flags. Like yeah. they're all the One, same, two, right? Three, four, five different, different. Yeah, but they're the same. They're just rolled up different. Similarly, it will be different. Yeah. All of. Yeah. Yellow, okay. white, green, red. Yeah. Five different, different color. Okay. So two hundred. Yes, two hundred. Nepali money very cheap. <laughs> Not that cheap. And what if I bought a bunch? If bunch. I bought like. How many? Ten. The different one. No, if I bought a pack of ten. 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 ten right now? If I bought ten, ten packs. Okay, okay. How much would it be? What do you mean it? So you say Padash? Okay, for you one seventy five rupees. Yeah. Okay. Really is Nepali price. Yeah. Okay, well I'm gonna come back. Yeah. Like I said, I only got in here today. This morning at uh, six o'clock. Okay. I've been walking around. I just wanna just see what I have. I'm gonna to go to Nang Tang in two days and then Lang Tang, Delhi. Delhi. Come, back, come back and I'm gonna go. But I want to get some flags for friends at okay, home, okay, okay. but that's a good price and uh, very good price. So it's right beside your man's shop that I just got the uh, we do the pin. I just got the pin. Oh, you are I was very, missing the pin, very, so. very map, many, many, many maps. <laughs> okay, very, very good. Anyway, anyway, yes. we have a year or two. I just crossed over, very proud of myself. Was able to do it pretty quick, efficient, didn't get killed. But you see what the traffic's like, it's just absolutely bonkers. And it's actually baking right now, probably about 30 degrees. Just making my way back towards my uh, homestay. I'm gonna do some editing. But you saw it, I wanna show you how crazy it gets. They love the horns too. Looking back to uh, towards my room, so oh. I got called over, so I might get us some snacks for the room. This one. This one. Uh, let's see. What do I have? Donuts, this, coconut. One chocolate cake, this one coconut macaron, this one cookies. You want juice? You have small coke? Yeah, yeah, it's like a small. Huh? Yeah, that'd be perfect. And I need something for. Snack with Let's take a look. See you want Pringles? Pringles? Good Pringles. Good Pringles. Yeah, yeah. This one. This one original, this one cheese. 
You don't have any spicy ones, eh? You want this spicy? Yeah. Um. This spicy only this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll get this. This, these two. And I'll get a chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Chocolate bar. Chocolate. Uh, Which one? Yeah. I'll try this one. Bubbly. Yeah. Try this one. Oreo. We'll try Which the one bubbly. Roasted. This one here. So these, these three. How much is it? Three. And the Coke. Three sixty. Three sixty. Perfect. That in there. Namaste. Namaste. Got some uh, spicy, spicy chips, chocolate bar, and a Coke for three sixty. So I have something for the room to snack on when I'm doing the editing, and I still have the bottle, bottle of water in the room. And then I'll probably hit in the bed. I don't think I'll be going out a little later. It's been a rough couple of days, but rough in a good way. See what I mean? They just bamp and then they drive right by you. So, here we are, heading home. On the home stretch, I'll turn it off now, and then I'll start editing.